Do you want pro photo results from your Lightroom editing? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you one simple tool that you can use to take your photos from beginner to pro in seconds flat, coming up. Hey guys, my name is David Johnson. On this channel, I help you improve your photography and even make money with your photography too. So if you're into that, go ahead and hit subscribe right now. Let's get into Lightroom. If you see on my screen right now, I have a very basic raw file photo that I have on my screen. And raw file is just the file type that you can select on your camera if you wanna make a lot of edits to it. So what I have is this very basic photo and you have all these options. Now, if you've ever gone through Lightroom and you've guessed at what sliders to use and how it can affect the overall photo, it can take a lot of time, but this one tool is gonna cut that time times 10. In certain sections of Lightroom, you have these little adjust points right here. What they are are basically quick edit tools that you can use to make fast edits without really even knowing what you're doing. Now I'll explain how these work along the way. So what I have is this adjust point for a tone curve. And basically what you do is you click on the adjustment point and you can hover over any part of the photo and adjust it. Now let's say I want to increase some of the highlights here, but I don't really know what it's actually going to affect. So if I say, I want this section of my photo to be a little bit brighter, all I do is click and drag up and it'll affect those color tones associated with that part of the photo. And I'm just gonna click and drag how high I want that. Now maybe I want the sky a little bit darker because that adjusted the sky. I can just click and drag down and that will pull those sky tones down a little bit. Maybe I want my shadows to be a little bit darker, parts of that photo to be slightly darker. I can just come over to any of the darker sections that I might want and I can pull those down to a point that I want them to. Now, this does a few different things. Number one, I'm adjusting light and tones within this photo, but I'm also adjusting the colors associated with that. I'll show you how to adjust those colors with the same tool in just a second. So all I'm doing here is I'm basically just picking points in the photo. But if you look at the tone curve, I'm actually making points along this tone curve and adjusting them as well. I'm creating contrast, which is separation between tones and making highlights brighter and shadows darker. And I'm just affecting those as they are. So I'm just doing this by not really knowing what a tone curve is or how it works, but I'm just clicking and dragging on parts of the photo saying I want them darker or lighter. Maybe these shrubs I want a little bit darker and that looks pretty good for a starting point. Now, if you're liking this video, you're getting a lot of value out of it, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you're liking it, hit that thumbs up and comment if you've already been using this tool before or maybe your favorite Lightroom tool that you like to use to level up your photos. Now, as we go through this, what I like to do is come down here to my colors. Since the tones can mess with colors a lot, I just come down here to my hue, saturation, and luminance sliders. And since the hues didn't really get affected, what I'm gonna do with these saturations is just come in here, I'm gonna select the same adjusting points, and I'm gonna say, okay, in my sky, I want that saturation to be more saturated. And for more saturation, I'm lifting it up. For less saturation, I'm pulling that adjustment point down within my photo. So let's say maybe these rocks, I might want them to be more saturated and some greens a little bit more saturated like that. And then this section of blue, maybe I went a little bit too far, so I'll pull that down some as well. Now for luminance, I can do the exact same thing. So for luminance of the sky, I wanna pull that down some and make that nice, dramatic, and moody. For these rocks, I'm gonna pull that luminance up and create more luminance in those as well. And already we're off to a great start here. Now I'll show you how to level this up just a little bit in just a second. But first, since I am dealing with a lot of different color tones, I'm gonna to come up here to my hue, click an adjustment point, and for this blues, I'm actually going to pull that down to adjust that to make it a little less blue because it looked a little bit fake in that scene. Now, already this photo is looking great. Let's show you one last tip to how you can level these photos up 
even more. And this is a power tip for you. Scroll all the way down here to your calibration section. And this doesn't have an adjustment point attached to it, but this is going to help you take your photos to the next level. On your blue primary saturation, all I'm going to do is increase that slider. And what that's doing is it's increasing the saturation of my oranges, my yellows, and my blues all at once, even my greens too. So that's helping you adjust your photo in there as well. Now there are some other adjustments that you need to be aware of along the way. As you're adjusting colors and luminance, sometimes that tone curve, which is the first part that we did, gets a little bit out of sort. So you can go back up to your tone curve and use the exact same tool. I'm gonna to select an adjust point and I'm just going to pull that adjustment point down a little bit on that green shrub to darken that just slightly. And you have to be really careful when you're going back and doing these secondary adjustments. Just the slightest pull is going to completely alter the photo. So just very small, minimal pulls on that. You see the before and after here, we started out with this photo that was very flat, very monotone, and had a lot of potential, but we didn't know how to pull those out. Using these adjustment points and just clicking and dragging within the photo, we easily created a professional photo that could go in anyone's portfolio right away. If you're interested in more Lightroom tutorials, go ahead and click on this video playlist right here for tips on how to level up your photo editing.